So the economy's had a bad day, so says one hit wonder Daniel Powder in his song, Bad Day. Although he's not really singing about the economy, but whatever. Closest thing I can find. We're going to take a look at what a recession looks like in an aggregate demand and aggregate supply graph. So to recall from our inflation chapter, aggregate demand is your total demand for all goods and services in an economy. And aggregate supply is your total supply of all goods and services in an economy. So if we want to graph that on our y-axis is the price and on the x-axis is real GDP, and we graph them where aggregate supply and aggregate demand meet, and that is our equilibrium point at price level P and real GDP Y. Now, when a recession happens, the first thing that happens is a shock. Ah! Shock. After that shock happens, demand has now gone down. And so we're going to show that by moving our aggregate demand curve to the left, and we're going to find our new price and new GDP at P1 and Y1. Now the important thing to note here, especially from remembering things from the last video, is in the last video we said that when there's a recession, the common thing that businesses are going to do in order to sell off their excess goods is have a sale. Well, in this case, our price has gone down. So prices generally decrease during a recession. Why? Because businesses want to sell off the uh, supply that they already have. And the also result would be a decrease in real GDP. Why? Because businesses can't sell off what they had at the higher price so now next year when they produce again, they're gonna produce less because demand is lower. So we have a decrease in GDP and a decrease in price because of a decrease in aggregate demand. Now, you might be wondering, what makes a recession a recession? Oh my gosh, we're gonna answer that question now. So. There are many factors that go into making a recession a recession. And some of those factors include, number one, rising unemployment. Well, if you take a look at unemployment since about 1950 in the United States, you'll see that, congratulations, United States, we are actually in the highest unemployment that we've seen in about 90 years right now. Since the Great Depression, we've never had unemployment like we have right now, and that unemployment continues to go up. So we actually maybe could pass that Great Depression mark. You also need a decline in real GDP. Now, we have the data from the first quarter of 2020. And the first quarter data, which is January, February, March, shows that we had a decline in 4.8% in real GDP. The crazy thing about a decline of 4.8% in the first quarter is remember, this really all started in March. So January and February were fine, but just alone in March was a lot, gave that quarter an overall decline of 4.8%. So we've had a decline in real GDP. And the second thing you need is a time period for at least two quarters of, of, of uh, real GDP decline. And so this headline says, worst economy in a decade, what's next? Worse in our lifetime. It says US gross domestic product decline in the first quarter dragged down the pandemic's grip uh, in March. Don't even ask about this quarter. So this quarter ends in June. It'll be April, uh, May, and June. And so when that data comes out, if you know January, February, March only declined by 4.8%, it was only one month of pandemic. Imagine what three months of pandemic will look like. And that's what we're really worried about, the second quarter data. It could be, it will be much, much worse than 4.8%. So a recession can actually only be declared by a bunch of nerds that work for the National Bureau of Economic Research. See? Nerds. So they're the ones who actually can go through and declare, hey, it's a recession. And they have a whole long set of criteria. But these three, in terms of rising unemployment, a decline in real GDP, and a sustained decline in real GDP, are three of the most important factors. That of determining a recession. And that is the end of this super short video. So next time we're going to talk about how a government fights a recession using fiscal and monetary policy. See ya.